Hello, and welcome to Caleb's Cookbook. Today's recipe will be from Comfort Food in a Bowl. It is actually a bit of an interesting one because it's chilled strawberry soup. That might seem weird, but we'll find out. To start off, you're going to need three cups of strawberries. So the way I like to cut my strawberries is cut the end off just like that. Throw it away. Then put it on the side, make sh making sure to have your fingers curled so you can't cut them. Then Cut it like this until you're about halfway through. Put it on the side. You can cut it some more until it's just like this, and I just cut it down the center. And then just keep doing that for all your strawberries until you have about three and a half cups. Next, you're going to need a cup of Greek yogurt. You're supposed to use plain, but I'm using strawberry because I couldn't find plain. You also need a food processor. Half a cup of Riesling, which is wine, which we can't have wine for this, so instead we're substituting it with white grape juice. Third cup of sugar, that's sugar, sorry, white. Okay. And then three cups of sliced strawberries. Because we don't have enough room in our food processor, we're going to take a little bit of each ingredient and put it in one at a time. So we're going to take about two scoops of strawberries, as I said, maybe. One scoop of our Greek yogurt, and then um, a little bit of our white grape juice, and some of our sugar. And just put that in, and then maybe I'll put a I'll put it, I think that's good. And then just put the top on and blend until fully mixed and until really smooth. And now we're ready to blend. Now, this is what it should look like, I think. And it's nice and blended. Once you get all the fruit processed, put it in a bowl and stir it up. Next, cover and put in your fridge for two hours. I actually can't take it out in two hours, so I'm just going to let it chill in the fridge overnight, and then I'll come back to it tomorrow. So, it's been a day, and I have the soup, and now it's just time to plate it. So, what you need for the plating is ground pepper, olive oil, and a singular slice of strawberry. All you do is put your soup in a bowl, then put a little bit of pepper on it, and then drizzle with a little bit of oil, and put your strawberry slice in the middle, and then you're done. Now, I feel like it was going much better um, when we didn't have the olive oil and the pepper, because that just seems weird, but I'll try it and get back to you. It's really weird because this actually tastes really good. And the pepper tastes like, it. actually, that's a weird flavor that I like. And um, the, you can't really taste the uh, olive oil, but I actually recommend this one because it's really simple and tastes pretty good. It's kind of like a smoothie, but it's too thin for that. But it's really good, so I recommend it. 